I think I'm going to like tell people who I am, how God is working in my life now and like where I was before. My whole life, my my parents told me that I was adopted and how I came to their home and how much they loved me. But when I was 13, I was at my doctor's and he let it slip that my mother was a heroin addict and I was born addicted to heroin. And I remember that day very distinctly because I came out of the office and I called my parents and I asked them, is this true? And then when I got off the phone, I realized in my 13 year old brain <laughs> that I'm not worth anything. And my mom didn't love me enough to give up drugs. And that explained all my troubles growing up. So I'm Michelle, I'm 48 years old. I'm a mom of six wonderful kids that all came to me in different ways. Um, I've been married to my wonderful husband, Richard, for the last 29 years. And um, I'm here just to tell you about my story with Christ. I arrived at my parents' house when I was six months old as a foster child and they ended up adopting me when I was three years old. They were Christians, and so I grew up in a Christian home. And when I was little, I was extremely excited, and I would go around to everyone saying, I love Jesus this much, and put my hands out. When I was 13, I found out that my mom was a heroin, like my birth mom was a heroin addict, and the circ circumstances of me being adopted. And it was pretty traumatic at 13. I was extremely bullied in school, and um, I was assault sexually assaulted in grade four. And so I thought that this is all my birth mom's fault. She chose heroin over me. I ended up leaving home, nothing to do with my parents, but just my self-esteem was, was horrible. And when I was about 13 and a half, almost 14, I, um, I met a man that was 10 years older than me. And he ended up trafficking me for two years, almost three. And during that time, I still, like, I still had Christ in my heart and I knew who he was. He wasn't center in my life, but I know that he protected me from doing drugs. He protected me from being harmed, from being killed. And when my trafficker went to jail, I ended up going into group homes and I was pregnant at the time. And I had my son when I was 16. And so I ended up running away. Um, even through the trauma of being trafficked, I never turned to drugs. And I was, I know that was God protecting me. I always looked at the silver lining in the cloud. And so I had been um, brutally assaulted uh, twice while I was, while I was trafficked. And in both situations, I look back and I really should not have not been harmed to the point of non-recovery or I should have died. And I look back now and I'm like, I know God was with me every step and taking care of me. That man ended up getting arrested and went to jail for 10 years. Again, God protecting me. And I, I didn't turn my life back to like, oh, I need to go to church every Sunday and I need to pray every day. It was still, him on the sidelines. And um, a few years later, I met my husband. We went to Alpha together and he ended up coming to Christ. And again, still on the sideline, like there were other things more important in our life um, that we thought were more important. And through that time, we I've met my biological mom. Um, she's still in and out addiction, but through that, I ended up meeting two of my sisters and they needed help with their kids. 
uh, because of issues they're having. And so um, over the time, my, my niece has come to now become my daughter and my nephew is in the process of becoming my son. Um, and I'm also raising my grandson from my 32 year old son. Over the last six months, my husband and I started going to Broadway church and watching our kids flourish there and get so excited of being there. Um, Richard and I really sat down and talked about like, where are we going with our family and with Christ? And that's when we decided, okay, we need to make him center in our marriage and our family. Both my husband, even though we've been Christian for Christians for years, had never been baptized. I just, I didn't feel like I had a home yet. October 29th, Richard and I both got baptized together. And the greatest thing is that my kids got to sit in the audience and watch us. And I think that's a gift that I could have never imagined being able to give my children. It was the perfect time to get baptized. And I love that I got to share that with my husband. And since then, there's a peace that's come over our family that I can't even describe. It's a sense of that I know God is holding my family and holding me. And no matter what comes our way, that he has it under control. Having him work your life and lead your life is remarkable. And so that's how God is working in my life and, and in my families. And I know that no matter what, he has us in his hands. And I'm excited about that.